Do you wish you could make amazing art like the pros? Well, you can. You don't even have to draw. Just follow my guides and I'll show you how. My guides have been voted best in the business by my mom. Today we're delving into Miami to create leaked cover art from GTA 6 that you can trick your friends with. And if you're on a potato computer or cell phone, I'll show you how to do it by the end of this video. Alright, so I've prepared a prompt here and I'm in Stable Diffusion Automatics Graphic User Interface. And if you want to know how to install that, I'll put a link in the description. So go check that out if you need to install. It'll give you a guide on how to set up everything and uh, how the tool works as well. Now the prompt I've prepared here is first in, in the name of the character and now we have Danny DeVito in uh, GTA Vice City, GTA 5 cover art. I've added this into parentheses. That's gonna give it that more weight. I've added cell shading, highly detailed, Roxy Wiscara, Anthony McBain and Stephen Bliss. Two first ones drew the cover art for GTA 5. I know Stephen Bliss have worked with the GTA cover art as well. Then we had concept art. And since GTA 6 is, is supposed to be in Miami, possibly Vice City, we were adding uh, Miami, Retro Wave, Pastel, Neon, Pink, Blue, Purple, Green, Green, yellow. Let's add in colors and trending on our station. We're gonna up the sampling steps to 50 and change this to LMS because I like the consistency of KLMS. We're gonna keep the width at 512 by 512 for now. Now, if you're working with a woman, now we have a man, we have Danny DeVito, but if you were to have a woman in your prompt, I would choose restore faces. Most of the time would give you better results with this prompt. Let's start with four batches and let's leave the scale at seven and the seed is randomized. Let's generate this. Now we got text in the first and the last one. That's not optimal, so we're gonna run a couple in other batches. But apart from that, we're getting kind of the vibe we're looking for. We're getting the retro wave. It's not really looking like Danny, but you know, let's run four more and see what we get. I think the first one here is super nice. The second one has a cool um, cool character and the, the shirt here is amazing. But the rest of the image is pretty poor and I don't want to keep working with that. I think the first one here is pretty cool. You can really see someone wearing this in Miami in the 80s. Or actually in present day. So yeah, I like that one. That's nice. So if you find something you like, you take that one. You can just send that to extras. Resize it four times. I prefer Swin IR. If you want more info about these upscalers, check the guide I previously mentioned, my ultimate guide. You can find it in my channel in the playlist. That's pretty sweet. Four times upscaled. Let's go back and uh, try something else. Let's try Morgan Freeman. Yeah, these are super neat. I like all of them. I mean, the hands are still an issue here, but that's classic for stable diffusion. This is super similar to Morgan. This one's pretty cool as well. Yeah, I like it. Now, if you don't like the neon purple style, you can just remove that. Now, GTA 5 had a more natural color style. From what I've seen in GTA 6 so far, it's been a little Miami-esque. But if you don't like that, just pop that out. You can see right away we have a more natural looking colorway. Now the two left ones are still Miami, are still having the Miami vibe, but this one is uh, super nice and the lighting here is great. Let me show you a woman as well, uh, how we can do with the restore faces. Get Scarlett. Let's get Scarlett Johansson. And now this, restore faces. I've noticed that many women tend to get the messed up eyes if you don't use restored faces. And now I have changed the settings for restored faces. So if you go into settings and scroll down, you have face restoration here. Now I prefer Codeformer, other people prefer uh, GFP Jam. You know, try it out, see what works for you. But I recommend just put Codeformer in there, go up, press apply. And uh, let's generate our Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, these are all looking like Scarlet's. Well, maybe not the last one, but the first one and the third one are really close. Too bad about the text here. Let's try Margot Robbie. And this time we're going to change the scaling of the image. So we're getting a horizontal image. Let's generate again. Let's 
Now the issue with horizontal ones is you often get these chopped off heads and feet and whatever. But as long as you run enough batches, you're gonna get what you're looking for. Now the faces here aren't turning out great. This one's pretty cool, but you know, she's wearing glasses. But just keep generating until you get what you want. Let's try something else. Let's go with Chris Pratt. Remove, restore faces and generate again. And you can see her again in the landscape ones. We got the head chopped off in the first one and the fourth one. This one's pretty good. It's real close to Chris. I don't know what the AI thought here. Started daydreaming and thought Chris was a car. Sweet car though. Now let's say that you find an image that you like, or at least the composition, but the image isn't close to what you're looking for. So let's say we like this one. I'm gonna send that to image to image. And let's say we like the image. We really didn't want Chris Pratt. So, we can take this one and just change it to Johnny Depp. And we're gonna lower the denoising strength a little bit, 0.65. The higher the value of the denoising strength, the more the image is gonna change. If I put this to 1, we're not gonna keep this. So just lower this so we're keeping some of it. You can see here that our Chris Pratt turned into Johnny Depp with the exact same composition. Now we lost, uh, I don't know what that is, some sort of alcoholic in the background, but um, the rest is pretty solid. And you can keep iterating like this. You can just drag that into here. And uh, let's say you want a couple of more choices. Let's put the batch count up to four or more and generate again. And here we got an even better. I think the first one here is um, very similar to Johnny and actually better than what we started with. So here we have Johnny Depp in uh, GTA 6. Super cool. And again, if you want to upscale that, just send it to extras, resize it four times and generate. All right, so if you don't have a local installation of Stable Fusion or you're on a potato PC or cell phone or potato Mac or whatever, you can use a web interface for this. I've chosen openart.ai, which is a free tool. You just need to log in with your Discord and then you can press the create button here. I'm gonna put a prompt in here and I have Bruce Lee set now. I'm gonna change this to Stable Diffusion, four images. Just leave the rest default and press create. Now for a free web interface, this is uh, fairly fast. So here we have Bruce Lee in uh, the GTA 6 universe. They're a little rough around the edges, but uh, we can just generate a couple new images to sort that. Let's try Jamie Foxx and run for new ones. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. The shirt's in tatters as well. We got a hole in the head. And this is getting closer to Jamie Foxx. Yeah, and this guy holding a, holding a camera here is also a little bit similar to Jamie. But again, I think you're going to need to run a couple more iterations to get what you want. Now the clothing are almost impeccable in all of the images. So there you have it. I hope you've learned how you can make your own GTA 6 leak images or, you know, just GTA style of images. Uh, you can incorporate this with Dream Booth as well and put yourself into GTA. I have a Dream Booth tutorial in my, my channel if you want to look at that. So yeah, if you enjoy this, feel free to push the like. And if you didn't, well, that's fine too. Bye-bye. Take care.